What is going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Oh, God. There we go, got the old backpack on. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I had to go get shots today. Um, I'm traveling to, I'm traveling to in a, a foreign country, and I'm sure this traffic noise is fantastic. I'm traveling to a foreign country with another member of the Guggen Squad, and that's all I'm gonna tell you guys. And I had to get some shots to prevent me from basically dying when I go over there. And I feel like such a wuss saying this, but if you guys ever, I mean, I guess the only shot you guys probably have gotten, like maybe like the flu shot. But I got like four shots in my, just my right arm, only my right. And like, I can't even like move the thing. So, you know, today might be a little interesting trying to catch these fish, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna go out and hopefully catch some bass. I am, uh... Those kids are yelling at me. What they say? Well, they might be flipping around. I am, uh, I'm at a pond that I've never caught a fish at before with Bowen. We're, uh, we're gonna attempt to catch some big bass today. I'm in Nebraska, in case you haven't noticed. Going back to Texas next week. And uh, let's see, where was I? I was just in California, and I shot a turkey, and now I'm here. So that's that's kind of the background of what's going on. Also, before I get fishing, we've got a, uh, a new t-shirt program. I'll link it down below. I'm not gonna give you guys all the details if you guys wanna know, but basically, it's a monthly subscription where you get a t-shirt every month, but you also get entered to win 10 favorite rods, 50 favorite rod uh, rod sock covers, and at the end of the year, on January 1st, 2018, we're gonna be giving away a fully rigged bass boat. Yes, I said it, a fully rigged bass boat. Like, not like a boat like mine, like a big, full-size bass boat. So, I'll, link, I'll drop the link down below if you guys wanna sign up, get entered to win some boats and rods and reels and all that good stuff. That's that, I've got 27 rods set up here. It's really windy, I'm sure this wind noise is great. We're gonna try to catch some bass. I saw you guys, you like yelled something. I was like, what the hell was that? What's going on? What's your name? I'm Andrew. I'm Jacob. Nice, nice to meet you. you, Jacob. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. Well, you saw my friends back of his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going back to fishing. All right. Starting off with a bait that I never throw, a giant swim bait. I don't really know I'm throwing it, but I just, just kind of feel like it. I want to go catch a big fish tonight, so that's kind of the plan. Water doesn't look all that muddy. That's good. Not bad. Well, that's windy because when it's not windy, it's covered with weeds. Really? Ooh, I kind of feel like a fish. There's one. It came off. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> All right. Well, there's fish in here. I was not expecting to uh, to catch one on this bait. Uh, okay, let's try to actually catch this fish now. I'll actually set the hook. I was really not expecting that at all. Oh, I just missed a big one. Well, no more bites on this swim bait. I don't know what the deal is. Why I didn't catch those fish, I have no idea. I'm gonna keep on moving here though. I, uh, my goal tonight, I've only got one goal. I always like setting goals, I'm a goal setter. My only goal for tonight is to catch one on a topwater frog. I have not done that in quite some time. So, topwater, that's my main goal. I'm gonna keep moving though. And uh, I'm gonna keep doing that swim bait until, the, uh, until I get to either some thicker weeds or the sun starts to go down some more. Because obviously the big ones like it. I mean, the first one was probably only three pounds. That second one, I didn't see him come out of the water, but by the size of his swirl, he was at least, you know, three to four pounds. Could be even bigger. Big swim baits like that, you should catch big fish. That's why I'm throwing it. But I'm gonna keep moving and covering water and hopefully gonna find, uh, find one that actually eats the swim bait and I can actually catch it. One. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, that's a big one. It's huge. Oh my god, it's huge. Got yep. <laughs> Dude, you've got to be kidding me. That thing is absolutely. Look how like it's literally just a black bass. Yeah, they're black out here. Dude, this fish was like these types of this size of fish have been eating my swim bait all night long. This is uh, that's easily a four pounder. This is the one I keep missing these on on swim baits, guys. I wasn't BSing you. I kept seeing the giant swirls. We got four, five, nine, first fish of the day. All right, getting getting the release on Big Bertha here. I'm standing on a log. See you later, buddy. 
good to go. That's the first fish for me, four and a half pounds. Not bad, not a bad start. Those were about the size of ones that I, were miss I was missing. That one, when he ate it, I just let him take it for like three or four seconds before I actually set the hook. So that's good. That is good. Uh, we're gonna keep on fishing. Sun hasn't gone down yet, so I haven't broken out the top water yet, but I'm gonna keep throwing that swim bait. This is basically like a, a rig you throw down in Florida on the, the lily pads and stuff like that. And for some reason, I just was feeling feeling a little anxious to catch a big fish. So I'm throwing the, throwing the big bait and it worked. Ooh, ooh, I just saw a big bass swirl. Not even near my bait at all, just probably chasing gills. I think a fish might here and might be spawning. Ah, oh, another one. Dude, they love this thing, except they can't get hooked. They just, they gotta be really big to eat this thing, which I guess is a good thing to weed out the babies, but I think some of these that I'm missing are big. I'm trying to let them eat it. Like I'm reeling like this nice and slow as you guys see, and then they eat it and I kind of let them eat it for like a second. But the thing is, I, I think these guys might be kind of spawning. So a lot of times they, they won't actually like eat it real well. They'll just kind of swipe at it. They think it's a bluegill around their bed and they just kind of try to scare it off and run into it and stuff like that. I'm guessing that's what happened. Either that or I suck, which I mean, is a definite possibility, but I'll go with that they're on beds. All right, I'm gonna move again. Third spot. The wind is still freaking howling. I really wanna throw a frog, but it's just a little too windy. Catch a big one? That's your first decent one, right? You caught a couple of dinks. That's a, that's pretty good one. What'd you catch that one on? A little Stanko? Uh, yep. A little Stanko. Black and blue Stanko, he says. That's good. Caught two pounder, four pounder. Missed a bunch of fish. He caught a couple squeakers. Not a bad start to the day. We've also got uh, Zach here, and then Nate's down there. They're they're here chilling. They're uh, some subscribers. They're here to catch catch some largemouth with us. We're gonna we're gonna attempt to catch some big ones tonight. Four pounder's good, but how, how big? What's the biggest one you've caught out of here? Uh, nine pounds. Nine pounds. Okay. One. You got a big one? Holy crap, dude! That's huge. <laughs> oh my god, dude! You've got to be kidding me right now. I've got a scale if you were to throw one on. I caught the other day. I throw them on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go put them on the scale. Hold that thing up, dude. What the hell is that? That's crazy. Five, seven, eight. Five and three quarters. That's a freaking toad. What do you got? What do you got? You got to name that. You're on the vlog, dude. You got to name that fish. What are you going to name it? Um, Eugene. Eugene. I like it. There Eugene goes. God dang, dude. I just missed like a giant. It might got like wrapped around a log or something. You're throwing a ribbon tail worm. A gosh dang ribbon tail worm. That's awesome. All right. Good work. Let's uh let's catch some more. There's one. There's one. Yeah, decent. Oh, that's a good fish. There we go. Come on. Get out of there. Get, get out of there. Whoa! Oh, flying bass. That was caught on a little Texas rig action. Got a, I believe like a half ounce tungsten weight on there. And uh, a little black and blue craw. That's a chunky, chunky two pounder. That was caught off that tree over there. Yeah, so like I said, it's just a little plastic craw. I think this is like a three or four aught round bend hook. A little OM tungsten sinker there. That did, I figured there would be some in this, in this brush. I picked up a Texas rig. I don't have a jig with me, but uh, Texas rig works too. Let's uh, let's see if there's two in there. Oh, this should be fun. This should be fun. Oh, come on, stay out. Yes, it's a fish. I'm trying. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, I think I actually got him out. I got him out. Yeah, that's a big one too. Oh, I can't believe I got that fish out. Oh God, it's big. It's huge. Come on. Oh God, it's, it's like a four or five pounder. Holy crap, come on. I cannot believe I caught that fish. <laughs> Just right in the corner, barely. Yeah, I'd get that, uh, give that a four or five pounds. Toss her on the scale here. Four, eight, five, almost a five pounder. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to, goodbye to Charlie. See you later, Charlie. There he goes. It's my second big one, almost a five. 
haven't broken the five pound mark. As you guys know, five pounds in Nebraska is a master angler. So that's always fun to do, but that's close. That was a close one. The old uh, black and blue craw with the tungsten weight. Did it, haven't even picked up top water yet. It's already been a successful day. Oh, I'm bleeding. I thought I felt some blood. That's good though, I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna, once the sun starts to go down, you guys can see the sun. The sun is still pretty hot. Once the sun starts to go down, it's frogging time, baby. We got we got Curtis rolling up. Do you yeah. do you ever go fishing? No, I don't. You're not a fisherman. You no. just want to say hi. Yeah, I just want to say hi. hi. That's chill. You're in the vlog. What's up? So as you guys can tell, this is the frog I'm imitating. See how it's white and I'm throwing black. That's not what you want. And he's got some green on the top, so that's kind of a natural colored frog. I'm throwing black for some reason, not the color that you want to be throwing. So I might change frogs. I gotta gotta look natural. But that's why you see when you guys see frogs, that you think frogs are green, but they're not. They're white on the bottom the next day. What's going on, Flare Fishing fam? As you guys know, I never do outros when I'm supposed to. So, uh, as you guys saw, you know, caught a lot of big fish. Not a lot of big fish, but the ones I did catch were pretty quality. Uh, especially for a lake that I've never been to, a pond, I should say. A pond I've never been to. Had no idea what to expect when I got there. I guess I've been there one time. I take that back. Some of you guys might recognize it from a duck hunting video, but I never caught anything. It was like, it was like dead of winter when I went fishing there. So, had no idea what to expect. It was definitely a fire pond. I'll be going back soon. I actually want to take my kayak out there. Hopefully this lighting isn't garbage. I've never really filmed like this. It's raining outside. We just had a tornado roll through and some hail, so that is perfect. That's why uh, That's why I'm not fishing right now, and instead I'm editing videos for you guys to watch. We've got a lot of videos coming up, though. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. If you are, please leave a like. You can drop it a comment down below, maybe a video suggestion on some tips or maybe a location you want me to go filming for, maybe what baits you sh I should use in the next video, whatever you guys want. Just make sure you drop a comment, leave a like, always subscribe if you haven't, and peace! Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine.